in today's tutorial i am going to show you some of the typographic effects in powerpoint so i have created few examples here so let me just show you before uh, i start let me just tell you what typography here so typography is nothing but is the art of arranging letters and text in a way that makes the copy legible clear and visually appealing to the reader so this is what the typography means so let me just show you few examples so first example here you can see here i've added the text focus and then i have blurred some part of the alphabets here so i'm going to show you in this tutorial how i did this one and the second thing you can see here this particular text how i bend the techniques i'm going to show you and one more i have created but i have not provided the tutorial for this kind of this kind of typography also you can make it so it's very fun and easy to do a uh, typography in powerpoint and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial the first typographic effect i'm going to show you to blur the text so let me just add the text go to insert text box and you can just add any text for example i'm just going to say a focus all right i'm going to type in capitals and you can choose any font of your choice i'm going to use a kind of arial black all right and then i'm going to increase the size you can see here the text size from this end to that end and then i'm going to make it center align and increase the size depending on your requirement for example maybe i've used 138 points so let me just move it somewhat up now i want to blur it so here there is no way i can just blur it the only thing which i can do is i can just use some glow effect here but i cannot blur it okay so uh, for the text you cannot blur it what we need to do is we need to convert this particular text into a image format how to do that one all right so select the text right mouse click copy all right and then again right mouse click i'm going to paste this as picture can you see here paste this as picture this is very important so i'm going to just bring it down somewhat and then you can see here the format menu is there and then you have got different colors you can see here i can just change the color of the font or i can just go to the artistic effect and here there's something called can you see here there's a blur option so but here it is not blur that much so i can increase the blur effect for that right mouse click go to format picture and you can go down here where you can see here the artistic effects and the radius they have given as 10 points i'm just going to increase it you can see here i'm going to make it more blur all right something like this now the second thing which i want to do is i want to uh, uh, i don't want to blur the some uh, alphabets here for example o c and u only f and s i need to blur it but i cannot just uh, do it you know uh, like this so what i need to do is i need to just make one more uh, picture image so i'm just going to select this again copy and paste as picture here you can see here i've added one more now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the crop effect here okay so first of all i'm going to crop and i'm going to say fit here and then i can just reduce the size you know you can see here for example i'm just going to reduce the size something like this all right or if you want half like this also only c and u also you can just do it for example let me just do this much only and then i'm just going to select this one and i'm going to place it exactly at the here so you can see here only the f and s is a blur the other one is not blur also okay so depending on your requirement you can change the color change the font whatever you want to do it you can do it so this is one way of uh, playing with the fonts now let's see the second way where i'm going to show how to bend the text now let's add a uh, 
one more slide right mouse click make a new slide and select this placeholder columns and delete this one i'm going to add the text either you can just take this text for example control c and control v and then i'm going to just change this to bend for example something like this all right now i want to cut cut this particular text into two uh, halves so i cannot do that one uh, with the text so what i need to do the same thing i'm going to convert this to a image so again select this copy right mouse click and paste as image here you can see here something like this now if you want to crop this one you know there's too much so i can just crop it as per my requirement all right so you can see here something like this all right so let me just delete for the meantime and then i said that i'm going to uh, cut this into two halves for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle and i'm going to draw a rectangle exactly on the first part all right you can see here something like this and then shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and then i'm going to select all by pressing ctrl a and ctrl d to duplicate why i have done this one let me just show you first of all select this one hold the shift key select this uh, rectangle format merge shape i can just intersect this one can you see here the bottom part is gone now from here i'm going to delete the top part so again i'm going to select this one format merge shape and i'm going to subtract it so you can see here i have got two different if i just put it it's again it's one text so uh, or one image so let me just put it something like this you can see here this one may also you can just if you want to cut the uh, the font something like this also you can cut it now i can just go to the format and i can just change the color so or you can just go here and you can just give some different colors also here whichever your requirement so let me just uh, go to the colors and change it here you can see here i can just change now what we need to do is i'm going to use the 3d format so first of all i'm going to select this one you can go to the effects and then you have got the 3d rotation now 3d rotation you have got maybe i'm going to choose this isometric top up so it comes something like this you can see here then i'm going to choose this one and for this i'm going to use this one or isometric right up and then i can just put it here so you can see here it gives you the feeling that we have bent the text all right you can see something like this